Hello everyone, it's me, Wookie here. Are you ready for another fucking adventure? I'm back here again with some more Dragalia Lost, as I finally break down another new unit from the Fire Emblem Heroes crossover. It's Veronica, and Veronica is a dark unit who is a, I believe it's called, wand. There's two kinds. There's wand, and then there's the Healy one. She's the attack one, uh, as you can see here, as she says, attack unit. Anyway, uh, this is what she does. Here are her skills. It is the Ginspence. Anyway, it deals shadow damage to the target and nearby enemies. And the lower Veronica's HP is, the more damage it does. And then she has Nosferatu, which deals shadow damage to every enemy around her and then restores 5% HP to her. The cap is 15%. And then ignore that last one because that one's the weapon one. Her co op ability is skill damage. Her skill damage is really damn high for me because I have her at like I think 49 mana circles and then her abilities are last destruct uh, lost no lust destruction last destruction and it increases the damage dealt to the next attack skill used by each team member by 40% when the user's HP drops to 40% once per quest and then her other one is paralysis resistance and she has skill prep, I believe it's 75%, and then at this final level, it's 100%. And then that's from the dragon. Anyway, Veronica is a dark unit. Let me quickly sort out so you can see what other dark units I have here. And dark units are, for the most part, for all the elements, there's five elements. Dark is the worst element out of all of them. And she is one of the highest... She has one of the highest, like potentials for any dark unit or for any unit for that matter actually so let's first go into a dragon trial real quick i believe jupiter is the one for her co-op and we'll do quick play it's fine if the host drops or whatever so just to kind of explain a little bit more to go into her while we're waiting for a co-op match uh, I was able to talk to a good friend of mine, my sage friend, uh, you saw him in the Marth video for a brief moment, his name is Lerp, he helps me a lot with Dragalia Lost, and I talked to him, kind of breaking down the unit a bit, and this is the kind of consensus that we came to, was that Veronica's is extremely strong, she fills a class for her element that there's not really a lot of competition, the only other competition she has is a pirate looking man, and you would want to run Veronica over him. If you, uh, if you had the choice for whatever reason. As you can see here, everyone's just rocking a Veronica. Come on. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. I agree with her. Here goes. Oh, I just realized I'm not, I'm not the party one. Anyway, uh, the main thing about her is that she needs to get really low HP. And her potential in the hands of a skilled player is 30k damage, which is what Lerp was able to get one time, uh, which is with her having her ultimate weapon on her and everything. So let me see if I can try and get a little bit damaged here to show her off. So here's the first thing you'll notice right off the bat, which maybe this is unfortunate, but everyone here is going to have their skills hat right away. Come on, hit me chicken. I need to get lower HP. You bastard, hit me. There we go. I'm gonna stand in the way. Perfect. So she's different from like a lot of like, for example, there's a uh, mage unit called Lily who you really don't want to get hurt at all. Actually, let me get hit by that. Okay, perfect. Okay. And see, as you see here, I'm low. And then I. Oh, god damn it. So now I don't have my heal on me, so. Probably shouldn't. Let me. See if I can just get some more damage onto him. So the good thing about her having, uh, see now I'm super low damage, so that means I can do a buttload of attack. But let me not die, how about that? So this is the problem with actually using her, is that you have to be smarter than, bam. You have to be smarter than you usually are with a lot of units. A lot of units you want to stay alive. She has definitely a more berserker type feel where you want to have her low on HP, and if you get too low, and you are like in and out of a situation that you can't handle. Either you heal yourself up or you have to hope the healer is nearby. Now, thankfully, she synergizes super well with the dark element weapon. So her, let me see if I can show it off. So that was one, as you can see here, no problem at all. No one had a problem there because we were all Veronica's. But 
uh, Jupiter's final, um, as you can see here, Advanced Dragon Trail. It's not here yet, but when it comes here, she'll be good for it. She'll be definitely one of the higher dealing damage ones on there. Anyway, let me quickly show you the five weapon for her class, which is right here. We'll go here. So as you can see, this is the five weapon for uh, dark types, and it heals the user. So that means automatically that she would have, when she gets this weapon, she has two means of healing on her, which means that you're able to play a lot more reckless, and you're able to go a lot more, I guess, like ham on it, so you can get the um, you can get the damage that you want and that you need. Hmm. All right, let's see. Now I'm going to show this one off. There's no guarantee that I'm actually going to win it because this is actually the Imperial Onslaught I hate to do the most. It is the... It's the light one. And the reason I don't like doing this one is that if... This one is... So for the Dragon Trial, the Dragon does Paralysis. So that means you want to bring in any uh, Dark Types with Paralysis uh, Immunization. For this one, it's Blind. So it's actually super, super hard to actually do. As you can see here, nobody actually wants to do it with a dark unit because using a dark unit in this kind of fight is super sucky and it super sucks because none of them really have blind resistance. Every single person has paralysis heal. I want to say one of the uh, most recent uh, free to play units has blind resistance, but that's about it. So this is a stage where I would say you actually don't want to play as Veronica in because you don't want to get that much. The more damage you get dealt on in this uh, stage, the higher the chances of you getting um, blinded. So that's bad. If you get blinded, that means that there's a chance that your your, your hits just don't hit anyone. So what's the point of being super freaking strong if you don't actually hurt anyone? Oh shit. I'm blinded. So now I'm going to do exactly what I was talking about. As you can see here, everything I have is missing. This is why I hate this level so much. I hate it so much. Saint God. Oh my God. Let's yeah, see if I can hit him with that. That was a big ass miss. All right, finally, I'm not blinded anymore. I'm gonna avoid this guy though. Maybe let me see. I'm trying to remember if his attacks are what hurt. No, it's not. Uh, but I'm blinded. See, so you can't really play the way you want to with Veronica, which is take some damage. Ah, uh, damn it. We just take some damage and then deal a buttload of damage and then heal. If your if your healing skill doesn't actually hit, then you don't get healed. See what I mean? So, blind just completely screws up everything that you want to do when you're Veronica. See, I can't even hit this damn eyeball monster. It's all bad, but it's okay. Even without. Oof avoid the purples heal up a little bit splash with that so she's not the worst at this but also she's not ideal for it because again her playstyle just doesn't fit with this dude <laughs> let me quickly slap her total eclipse we should be able to win from here or not let's actually see if we can blow it can we blow this i mean we might don't underestimate my ability to blow it you know what i'm saying uh please don't take that out of context anyway Let's get back at it. Yeah, I hate this level so much. Blind freaking sucks. This guy sucks. Ah, see, look. I can't get hit by any of that. Normally I would take a hit from it, but I can't. I guess a good way to do it is to just get farmed. Maybe I'll just farm this ice at this little, uh... Yeah, let me take care of this stupid little archer. Boom. There you go. I got the final hit. That was all on me. You're welcome, everyone. Veronica here to save the day. So really, Veronica at the end of the day, just to kind of uh, give my final thoughts on Veronica, she's high risk, high reward. If you're very good with her, I think you can probably do some of the most damage anyone could ever see out of this game. But if you're someone new to the game and you're specifically like, I want to play uh, Dragalia because of the Fire Emblem crossover and I love Veronica. I like the fact that she has a regular outfit even though she doesn't have it in Fire Emblem Heroes because her unit would have been super outdated when they released her or whatever is that she's actually pretty tough to use. Tough to use in the sense of like you could play her like regular but then you wouldn't be getting the most potential out of her. 
Um, but that doesn't change the fact that I think she's probably one of the highest damage dealing dark units out there. I still think that the sword dark unit that is also limited, because only the the best the best dark units are all limited, so that includes Veronica. I think she's probably the second best dark unit in the game for that reason, is because of how strong she is. I don't think she's number one though, I still think I would prefer sword boy over her but you know that's just the way i like to play i'm much more of a conservative type of player but if you train and you get super good with her then you're basically set for life is what i'll say about her and uh all right that's everything i hope you uh you know if you have some thoughts about veronica leave them down here if you have a if you've been playing her differently or if you disagree with what i say i'm always open to hear what you got to say until next time i'll join you for Another episode of Dragalia Loss or whatever fucking game that I decide to play. How about that? Alright, see you guys. Goodbye.